today I'm going to talk about Magic Origins pre-release and is it worth it for you to go to Magic Origins pre-release? And it absolutely is. It is, it is, it is. Um, if you're a new player, I know I made a video probably sometime this week. Yeah, sometime this week. And it was titled something like... Um, hmm, what was the title? Oh, Scared to Go to FNM or Used to Go to FNM. Uh, magic players are not going to buy it. I always think of uh, kind of creative titles that not everyone appreciates my creativity on. And so Magic Origins pre-release is the last core pre-release. They're going to go out in style. Um, this I have no doubt. Like I have no doubt they are going to do something kind of special. I have no doubt they are going to do something that um, many Magic players are going to enjoy. I remember going to these core sets and I mean, I don't even know if corsets have pre-releases, um, but I remember like buying these corsets and they used to come in like CDs, like this like giant box and it came over a CD and stuff, and uh, foil like Elf Lord. I, I'm so glad to see the Elves are back because they belong back and the Goblins should be back too because it's the last corset. If you had Goblins, Merfolks, Elves, Soldiers, and then Vampires, right? I mean, the... <laughs> those vampires uh, back in the day, like Sarah Angel, I hope, well actually Sarah Angel is back, but a lot of the traditional cards have already been uh, confirmed as coming back. So Magic Origins for a returning player is very, very good to go to because it's going to remind you a lot of when you first time you play Magic, just like every core set. Every core set has been pretty much identical. In my opinion, they all kind of look the same to me. It's all a bunch of reprints. Um, until like recently there was no new cards in core sets to be excited about. It was just a bunch of reprints and you used to be able to vote. You used to be able to vote for what reprints you wanted in the core set, which you, you can't do anymore, but still nice, you know, nice little idea, right? Uh, so Magic Origins, I would say is probably one of the best sets for a returning player. I would also say for a new player, it's going to be a great time. Uh, the reason it's a great time is it's an event. I mean, it starts at midnight. I normally get there around 10 to grab like some food with the guys. And then from midnight until 8 or 9 o'clock, I think it's like mostly 8 o'clock, um, you battle and you just play and you have fun and you can do friendlies. You just open new cards. Everyone there is interested in magic enough to spend midnight to 8 o'clock. It is extremely draining the next day. Sometimes I have to do volunteer work and... Um, you know, work at my job, but uh, I always try to make it for the first half. I always, I, even if I'm not like going to stay up until eight, uh, I would just drop and then you know just have fun and just play casual. Like I'm extremely casual now, but I, obviously I would like to win something for you guys to so open on the channel, but uh, that's not the main objective anymore for me. So Magic Origins will be a great place to meet new players. Uh, it'll be a great place to, you know, talk about magic with people who are interested in magic. And it'll be, the crowd that shows up will be very different from Friday Night Magic. And now I'm part of that type of crowd who doesn't really attend Friday Night Magic all that often, but will go to every pre-release. And that's it, you know, that's simple as that. Like, Friday Night Magic at the place I do pre-release has maybe 10, 10 12 people. The pre-release has like 80 people. So most of those people are new, and a lot of people who play Friday Night Magic do not play the pre-release. So in my opinion, it's a little more competitive, at least where I play at, and just because of the large number. So the percentage of competitive players are less than Friday Night Magic, but the overall, because there's way more numbers, you do get more of them. Always be nice, like it doesn't hurt to smile, it doesn't hurt to talk, it doesn't hurt to like, it doesn't cost you anything of that nature. Especially if you're a new player, it's okay to ask someone to build your deck. I build a lot of decks for like new players all the time. Uh, and I, I build them like kind of, uh, I build them way more competitive than I build my own decks, for uh, sealed at least. Because uh, I want them to win, I want them to have a good experience. Um, my decks are very janky, like they are very janky. Um, and I like it that way. I absolutely like it. I play aggro a ton, and like I said in the last video, if black is not, a removal in particular is not kind to me, then I go play aggro. Some type of Boros or Selesnia, or I mean some type of white 
based aggro build. And it works a lot of times, like because a lot of it's very easy to understand how to win with that type of deck. Now, for you know, for a lot of people who are concerned about, hey, am I going to you know fit in? Am I going to um, you know enjoy my time? Am I going to have a you know fun time? I would say you don't know until you go. Uh, like most, well, like most life in general, I guess. Uh, you have to go to before you make, you know, have, uh, it's not even like late, it's, what is it, like 5 o'clock? No, it's 6 o'clock right now, 6 p.m. I normally make my videos like 4 a.m. in the morning. Um, if you don't go, you're going to regret not going. If you do go, like I said in the last video, you can leave anytime you want. Um, you're not obligated to stay. It's not a job. You're not the local game store is not your employer. You can leave anytime you want. And you can stay as long as you want. Um, honestly, the store just rose over in the morning and they just have another pre-release at noon. So, I mean, I guess you could sleep on the couch for two hours and just wake up for the next pre-release. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I advise going. I heavily advise going. And if you guys have questions, leave a comment below. And either me or my, my subscribers are pretty good. They're pretty good at answering questions, and I feel like uh, they do a very good job. Um, I'm very happy that you know my subscriber base is so much more helpful than I guess my old subscriber base. Uh, and you know, it on reflection, having this new channel has allowed me a I'm a lot happier. I think you can tell that, and b I feel like I'm it's adding more to the community, but in a much different way than my old channel. Bye guys.